Hi, I am Noriko Ogawa. I'm going to give you a short lesson on a piece by Eric Satie, Le Piccadilly, on this avant-garde piano from Yamaha and the score appears in Pianist magazine. Well, this piece only takes one and a half minutes to play, but my goodness, what a piece. It is very, very difficult, I, ha I have to warn you. Full of jumps and every octave is different. And sometimes you have to be jumping around in your right hand as well as your left hand. So, and also it has to sound very playful and it has to sound really a lot of fun. Well, for the listeners, it's really just for fun, but for pianists, we have to go through a lot of work really to make it sound like it is fun. So let's break down this piece into absolute pieces and start working on it. The first four bars, it is in forte and fortissimo, and it really should sound, this is a real fantastic introduction and why I'm taking you to a real fun place. So be absolutely decisive. And then suddenly, pianissimo, and you have to voice in an Indian voice. And top right hand and left hand have to do the accompaniment. So you have to be three different people. So it is important to practice separate hands. Not only that, separate lines. Left hand, right hand, and And then, now left hand has got four pairs of quavers, all different notes or different octaves. So, I practice separate hands. First, left hand. I repeat the same pattern until I get used to it. The next one. But I have to put those two together. So, now together. And so on and so on. Put together. Now, it is very important you know where you are going, so it's better not to jump around too much like this. If you did that, inevitably, distance becomes too long. It is better to be very close to the keys. Much more economical and much, much better hit rate. Right hand. full of syncopation, so please be aware of downbeats. Very important because both hands have to come together. The hands are going into two different directions, but two different distances as well. So be aware where you're going. Now, here, parallel movement, and that is actually very difficult for us to do. So, again, be aware where you're going. Always make sure where you're going. Really press the keys when you're absolutely sure. Now, this 
fun accompaniment comes back, really make sure that it, is, it remains accompaniment level of dynamics. Not this kind of voicing is very important to keep it fun. Well, for pianists, it's very easy for us to play everything in the same dynamics, but actually it's very important to keep the balance. Which line is the most important and which line is in background? In this bar, this in background. Now, right hand has got slur, legato, where left hand remains very lively. To practice this way. Separate and together. Now, here comes the most difficult part. Right hand It is very difficult to do legato in octaves. Still keep trying. Even your hands are not very big. If you have to use 5-5, five, five, still worth trying to do legato. That really prevents you from jumping around unnecessarily. Or if you have got big hands, you can use number 4. Always make sure that <laughs> practice very slowly and always make sure where you're going because you're not always able to look everywhere. So practice slowly first and make sure that your body also remembers where you are going. In the middle section, it is a little bit easier. But really, it's this kind of buzzy kind of sound. When you practice, even those grace notes should be practiced slowly. And then when you actually crush them, it has got the fullness. And then, even in very soft dynamics, um, make sure that it is still very cheerful. How do I do it? Well, left hand remains even quieter and really emphasize that your melody is in your right hand. and the sound remains very cheerful. Forte. Sati says, Patro Vit not too fast. So this piece doesn't have to be played too fast, but it's a really great fun. Have fun. <laughs>